semi-final of the T20 out here, playing the old rivals Lancashire, and you've got one over on them already this season. A good yeah, result. Definitely a good result. I thought we uh, played exceptionally well there. I thought we batted nicely, got the runs on the board, and they ball, the ball was a team there. We had everybody contributed, and we squeezed them, and uh, it was uh, exactly how we wanted. Johnny Bairstow and Adam Lythe probably the stars with the bat when they played nicely. Yeah, definitely. They set the tone there with Lythe getting the runs up there and uh, Johnny coming in the middle order, getting a 50. So it was, uh, it was good there to get a nice toll on the board. They got off to a reasonable start, didn't they, with the bat and uh, you had to peg them back and yourself and Richard Parra did the trick. Yeah, they got off to a flyer, but you know, 2020 is one of them games there. Uh, you, you can get off to a flyer, but then once it, you know, after the first six, sometimes, you know, once you squeeze, the pressure gets on the team and, and that's what happened today. You know, we put the pressure on the middle and and, and at the end. And it's a good sign, isn't it, Yorkshire are winning those games already this season, you know, coming back from a 50-50 a, you know, situation and coming out on top. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you know, it's good to get into a winning habit, whether it's a friendly or, you know, obviously a real game. But I think it's, it's nice to, it's to win and be sure, you know, what we can do as well and uh, hopefully we can carry it on. And just quickly before I let you go, congratulations on the England call-up. Off to the West Indies this, uh, this April with uh, England. Nice to be back. Yeah, definitely. It's obviously nice to be back in England itself. You know, I've been, I haven't been there in four or five years, but it's nice to get back and hopefully, hopefully everything will go well. And hopefully you can get on the pitch this time and make a test appearance. Yeah, that would be nice. But you know, obviously going there just to get experience with them on the pitch or off. Pitch. Well, enjoy the rest of this trip and enjoy the Caribbean. Cheers, buddy. And that, as they say, is that. New champions down here at the south. of the Emirates T20. Ladies and gents, the Yorkshire Vikings! Hoddy, um, opening the batting in this 2020, how have you found that? Uh, yeah, must have enjoyed it to be fair. Um, I don't think I'll be doing it in the summer, but it was a great chance to just come out here and, and show you kind of what I can do. And I just love to play, so uh, yeah, just kind of put my hand in there. I mean, I was chatting to Ian Dews and he said you've worked very hard in the winter and uh, proofs in the pudding, you hit some beautiful shots out there. Yeah, maybe not so much, maybe not so much in kind of, um, I don't know, kind of physical and technical, but um, in tactical definitely. I think one day cricket is kind of very much a game of chess and stuff and Kane Williamson was brilliant with me last year in that and um, yeah, just kind of clear plans and backing from the, from the kind of backroom staff, you know, Dizzy's been brilliant has been fantastic and they back you and that's what you need, you need to play confident cricket. And it didn't look good to start did it? Three down for next to nothing and uh, you and Will Rose initially and then Jack Leaning came in and uh, you kind of rectified it, got up to 170 plus which looked like a winning score didn't it? Yeah definitely, I think um, it was actually a good, it was a very good wicket and I think the lad would do uh, bold well up top, you know, because got an absolute peach and, and that's just how you know, kind of 2020 cricket can go, it's all or nothing sometimes. But, uh, yeah, just me and Jack just thought, like I said before, positive oh, cricket. You know, we could have limped to about 120. We could no, like, we, we kind of played the brand of cricket we want to do, and, and it just worked out. And so one of the features of Yorkshire in the field is always tenacity, and basically wickets are plenty there, and uh, tied Sussex down. Yeah, definitely. Like, again, like just having something to bowl at, we've got some serious quality in our bowling attack. So get little rash on, get lively on, and then obviously, you know, the other guys chipping in as well. Well, Yorkshire's first trophy of the season. I better not stop you any longer because you're about to go and get it. So okay. well played, mate, and no uh, enjoy the celebrations. Thanks, Chief. Operations United Arab Emirates and Amman. And there are your champion select for 2015 at the Emirates D20. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for the Yorkshire Vikings!